So I'm, I'm in the middle of watching a scene from produced by Naughty America Virtual Reality. This is blowing my mind. This really is phenomenal. I'm now a true believer of VR. This booth has been extremely popular at E3. Can you tell me about your foot traffic throughout the day? Oh, the, it's, the booth has been completely slammed since 9 a.m. Last night, in fact, the line extended beyond the closing and security had to come chew people away, basically. That's how packed it's been. They gave us this little booth in the corner, which we totally appreciate, because I think we were the first adult company to be allowed at E3. And we have this little booth here, and we are just rocking the hell out of this little booth. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say this is more packed than Nintendo or Sony. Wow. Okay, well now I'm going to start, I'm going to take the headset off and get into it. I was skeptical everyone's laughing, making jokes, all these jokesters, but uh, this is the real thing. So to frame it, uh, my name's Frank. What's your name, sir? Ian Paul. I'm a Chief Information Officer of Naughty America. For how long have you been with the company? About five years. Five years. So you've kind of come in beginning of like VOD becoming a huge thing, the end of DVD. Now this is the new frontier. Can you kind of tell me Naughty America's plans for the future of pornography? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Look, we're embracing VR. Um, uh, certainly, it's, it's, it's the future of pornography. Um, you know, not just what you've seen, point of view, but this is going to go even further. Uh, when we start doing gaze detection, where we know where you're looking, when we can dynamically alter the content without you even knowing it, when, when you're looking at the blonde in the distance and it, it detects that, and that blonde starts seamlessly walking forward to you, and, and that's how the experience starts. When we start doing that, that's truly the future. Have you guys tested that route yet, or are you still earlier state? No, it, it, it's the editing. The editing yeah. is, is, is a challenge. The uh, production is, it's, this is all very kind of cobbled together type of systems right now. So, you know, the, the innovations haven't been made in, in in, in all of those different technology areas. So, I mean, watching this is pretty amazing. Just from the production standpoint, do you have to kind of train the actresses to kind of act in a different way? Because they can see everything. So, I mean, editing must be such a challenge. But we, ha what are all these details that go into sure, production? Sure. I mean, look, the, the, these performers, we only cast the best of the best talent. Yeah. They're seasoned professionals. I mean, Elsa Jean's in there. She's a newcomer, but very, very talented. Yeah, so, I mean, they're used to shooting POV in 2D, so it's not that much of a stretch to get them to shoot POV in, in, in uh, VR. Uh, the only difference is we, we coach them to take advantage of the depth, so they'll move forward and backwards oh, a yeah. little bit more because you really feel that in the videos when they move close to yeah. you. Yeah, you can you can see everything. Um, but I know it's watching it. There is like a one only 180 degree. You can't look behind. Yeah, and we have, there's a reason why it's 180. If you imagine a, a cell phone, if you were to stretch it around your head, um, we're able to to condense the the pixel, increase the pixel density by by condensing it to 180. Uh, you lose some resolution if you stretch it around. So you've had a huge response from the attendees here at E3. What's been like the best thing you've heard about your technology and your even just your presence at E3? I think the tremendous thing for us is getting feedback from gamers. We're really trying to uh, figure out how to appeal to the gaming industry. Uh, look, um, all of our themes are kind of riffs on popular American culture topics, and, and gaming has really reached a milestone where it needs to be included in that, and we're here to figure out how to go about doing that. How did was even the submission process of getting into E3? Was there like hurdles to get through. I mean, it's pretty miraculous that you guys are here. And I mean, look, we just applied like anybody else. It, it certainly took them a, a while to get back to us. I think they were kind of digesting the prospects and they came back and said, look, you need to conform to these rules. You can't have any nudity. You need to check IDs. Uh, and so that's what we're doing. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, seeing the demo is pretty amazing. So are these films already live on the Naughty American website? Yeah, we have uh, a 50 or so scenes. We've been uh, releasing VR scenes since uh, last summer. That's incredible. So this is currently compatible with the, the Samsung Oculus VR, the other Oculus. Are there plans to do stuff with HTC Vibe where you're walking around? Yeah, it's already compatible with HTC Vibe. You can't walk around yet, but we're compatible with all of the platforms. Do you have any message out there? People who are skeptical, people who are still, you know, downloading or streaming porn. Is there anything you want to say to them to get them to buy into this great technology? I mean, you have to try it. If you haven't tried it, you don't know what you're missing. So go, go to NaughtyAmerica.com and check it out. All right, well, thank you so much. I'm at E3, the head of video games, the future of technology with Naughty America. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Awesome.